Lead on with the left foot. Neil stays on his line. Nice try, send the header across. Yep, Mike Neesmith. Good save away from McNeil. Good to action. Finals of this competition. And these hard conditions. Johnson Stevenson gets away from him. Good one handed save. Alan Johnson couldn't make the challenge. He, he, he wasted him for pace. He did. You know, and then he, he takes an early strike. It might have begun at the far post, but Stevenson does really well there. He gets it across the goalkeeper. Hips of the better home form of the two. Kilmarnock have travelled better. And Andy McNeil goes in. Andy McNeil loses out onto Naismith. Well, he was just. Whitaker, easy with the header. Breaks to Fowler. Fowler goes for the shots. Man, this challenge. That was wonderful defending. May well have been Jamie Fowler. Now Stevie Naismith goes forwards. Well, from one end. Colin Nish was trying to provide some pressure. And Sproul driving forward, good sliding challenge once more by Fowler. The Giacomo picks up, very short in the pass on to Lever. That's a lovely footwork from Hibbs. And likely source of Stephen Whitaker. Back David Murphy. Murphy taking off for good block back. Hibbs have got two full backs, they just love to play the game. Oh, they're fantastic players, you know, and I think the things the key is stopping him to stop the full back. But again, terrific play by David Murphy. Good de defender by Simon Ford. Looking for the opening goal in the CIS Insurance Cup final of 2007. Scott Brown would love to supply it. Murphy plays it in, Alan Cole. Uh, Rob Jones comes up, Alan Cole came out, but the captain comes up and rattles the ball into the back of the net. It's the 15th goal for him in this competition this season, and it gives them the lead in the final. Well, I was watching who was picking him up, it was Colin Nish, and he was never close enough at any point in the movement. I think Alan could maybe we'll see it again. Could he have come for it? No, probably not. But Colin this, you can't allow Rob Jones to run there. You see them there. He's not even got his eye on him. If he then draws into the ball, he's got no eye on Rob Jones. I saw the red shirt of the goalkeeper move across to the left. I wondered if he was going to come and try and take it. But it wasn't to be. And John Collins with another famous seller. An easy one back for De Giacomo, but he flipped it on looking for Levin. Murphy's won it. Sends Stevenson free in the midfield. Fowler tracking back, good sliding challenge. Stevenson held up well. Brown onto Benjamin. Fletcher's made a good run. Benjamin had a magical effect on the Scottish Cup against Aberdeen. Moves it out wide onto Sproul. Sproul against Hay. Leaving in attendance also. That leaves Whitaker free. Whitaker with a delivery. Benjamin looking for the head flick and Alan Cole grateful to scramble the ball behind Stephen Fletcher was involved, Alan Cole had to be there well the big thing in that was that Sproul drags the two defenders in and then lays it back instead of trying to, that's going in that's a magnificent save by Alan Cole Benjamin, it's a great header going in just, is it? Fletcher with a header, Benjamin his debut in this competition against St Johnson doesn't have to make the save there oh, right goes through again great reaction to Andy McNeil Murphy and Fletcher He's gone for goal, it's a deflection, Simon Ford, delighted to see that his shin pad didn't deflect that into the bottom corner. Could have went anywhere, Murphy's caught it well, I think it just hits the right, right on the shin, could have went anywhere. It's in the corner again, delivered in, Peter Levin hits it against his own man, breaks down to Benjamin, knocked away, Ivan Sproul was involved, so too was Fraser Wright. Well, Benjamin nearly made it 2-0. It was a snapshot, wasn't it? They got a little break there, Hibbs. Better on Wales. That's woefully shot from Wales. Sproul picks up. Plays it on to Bozalon. Bozalon returns it. This could be 2 0. Fletcher goes for the top corner. Wonderfully worked from Hibbs. Applause from the manager. He would rather have been applauding a goal. Yeah, it's a poor from Gary Wales there, just on the pitch. Really good move. But I think Fletcher just takes a little too long here. Tries to curl it. He doesn't curl it at all. He actually shanks it. I don't know if that's worthy of applause, I've got to say. But really good football by Hibs again. Certainly looked closer from the commentary position than it did on the replay. Whitaker. Now on to Benjamin. Greer just holding off him. Benjamin twisting, turning. That's how to finish. That is how to score a goal in a cup final. And it's Alain Benjamin rattles it home. Hibs never lose when he scores. Well, that CIS Insurance Cup final, Kilmarnock nil, Hibs 2, 
Well, Benzler has been coming more and more into the game. You saw a little bit of skill earlier. So much room again, though. Gordon Beer just doesn't handle it, doesn't get close enough. And he tucks it away, left foot. Just picks it up here. Gordon Beer's got to get a bit closer there, try and stop it. But he's a fine player, Benzler, but it's a fantastic finish. It's his 13th goal for Hibs, snapped inside Gordon Greer, lovely little shimmy, the goal was wide open, and the ball was slotted home, the fingertips of Alan Combe, just not enough. That one deserves applause, that is a pillar in the corner. Alan Combe might be a little bit disappointed. They've scored in the last seven, the last blank was against Hibs when they lost in January 2-0. Similar scoreline, come on, a goal! Well, Hibsworth trying to fly through once more. What a great late run. Almost, almost in. I think he's given a foul there, do you, has he? In regulation time, or can Kilmarnock find a way? To put pressure on the men from Easter Road. Beautifully done, Benjamin off the crowd. Fletcher is onside! Stephen Fletcher looks like he'll wrap it up for Hibs! There's still 25 minutes to go in this final. But these fans feel that the cup already belongs to them and belongs in the trophy room at Easter Road. That deserves a clap, because that was utterly magnificent football. And you'll never get a better illustration of a third-man run. Great little touch, and goes again beyond Scott Brown. Perfect. And the finish, well, clinical. And it's just a really well-worked goal. Get fabulous football movement. And topped off with a wonderful finish. He scored in the semi-final, but the one in the final will mean even more. The left foot of Stephen Fletcher fires past Alan Combe and the cup looks to be going home to lead. Yeah, you know what, nobody can say. You know, it's pretty cool. Nine men behind the ball. So difficult. Ford picks it on to De Giacomo. Here. Waits, the cross will come in from Gary Locke. It's exceptionally deep, Colin Nish is there, headed back across, headed up, Gordon Greer goes in! To take the ground, and he with a solid challenge. Ball breaks on to Bozelon again. He knows that Fletcher would be there. Fletcher gets the better of Greer to arrive into the box for Hibbs. Go back to Benjamin. Looks up, see if he's got any support. He doesn't. He doesn't need it. Arsalan Benjamin gets his second novel in two weeks and seals the CIS Insurance Cup final to Hibbs. He thanks a higher power. Hibs have been powerful all afternoon. Yeah, they've been outstanding, Paul. And, you know, a great run by Fletcher. Picks Benjamin out. And Benjamin in that situation, in that situation in the box, is dynamite. You've seen it in the early rounds of the competition as well. It's a little ro long raking pass. Fletcher does really well here. Another team would probably held that up in the corner. But he picks out Benjamin as soon as he's one on one. Too easy. And it's again it's a clinical finish. A really good goal from, from his point of view on the breakaway. And again. Not great, I think maybe Fraser right, just allowed him inside the park too easy on his foot, right foot. Nah, that's a good finish. Alan Cohn beaten by the power. Hibbs this afternoon, half the power. Kilmarnock one, Hibbs four. Knocked away from Rob Jones. Now the ball comes back infield. Again gets played through. Alan Cole with an absolute howler. Cole on to Fletcher. It's a moment of personal tragedy in the footballing sense for Alan Cole. And Stephen Fletcher nets the fifth goal. He couldn't believe it. The Hibs fans couldn't believe it. Kilmarnock are torn apart. It's Kilmarnock one. It's five. Yeah, I mean, it's putting a bad bounce here, but the thing is, you don't want to see that. You know, you don't want to see it. I mean, I'll tell you what, the Hibs fans want to see it, but you see it. It was a horrendous bounce there. But quite obviously, Alan Coombe's got to go to the better. I mean, Fletcher's still had a wee bit to do here. Keeps his nerve, gets a break through Alan Coombe's legs. I think that just signifies it is not Kilmarnock's day. It's not Kilmarnock's day. Well, Hibs are thinking about making a change. They'll fire the free kick in. The ball flicked in off the post. Benjamin cannot believe it. He was that close to a hat trick. And Alan Coombe would have had no chance with that. And then two, four, knocks the ball away. Referee Dugan McDonald looks at his watch. The heartache 
is over for Hibs. They've come here twice and not one. And John Collins can celebrate. There wouldn't be a prouder man in the stadium if we managed to lift the cup, said the manager. He's going to get that chance. John Collins, just a few months into the job, is a cup winner. He will take the CIS Insurance Cup all the way home to Easter Road. Yeah, until well, he deserved and he wanted to put on a show. And for an hour there, it was a show because, you know, if you want to talk about passing, flowing football, watch the video for the third goal. It was outstanding. Well, Fletcher with a double, Ben Jaloon with a double. Hips at time were immense, they flowed. Glory, glory to the high bees rings round Hamden, and you cannot deny them their moment. Well, you can't, you've got to feel it for Kamarnock players when they see all the green and white now and they hear the songs coming through. That's not going to make them feel any better, but yeah, I think they'll be honest enough to know. I know their management team will be honest enough to admit they were beaten with the better side today. David Murphy. A little kiss for the cup. Stephen Fletcher with two goals. Stephen Whitaker to Chris Hogg. I can assure you that is a player. Well, you can always trust the French to go with a bit oh, of flair. Exactly. I'll tell you, was Rob Jones, who was Rob Jones playing? Was it, was it Grimsby? Ro he was playing this time last year. He was playing for Grimsby against Rochdale this weekend last year. Rob Jones. Up the steps he goes. Jim McGee, Bobby Atherton, Pat Stanton, Murder McLeod. The previous winning captains for Hibs. And now a six foot seven Englishman called Rob Jones, who's fired his side into the lead, is getting ready. He's coming forward. There's Simon Butler. And there's the moment the Hibs fans wanted. The CIS Insurance Cup winners for 2007. And you cannot deny them the trophy. Congratulations to Hibernian.